Hi YouTube, it's Robbie again. Sorry I haven't uh, made any videos for a while, I've been rather busy. Great news, I have a great new job, um, which I did chant for, uh, so Nam Myoho Renge Kyo uh, is proving quite useful in my life. Um, I It wasn't that easy to be honest, uh, when I took my first interview for the job I actually didn't think I got it. I was all negative and despondent and after a few days they actually called me up and told me that I had second interview. So I made a point of getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning and chanting for probably about an hour, almost 45 minutes, to summon up that Buddhahood and that courage and um, I went in the interview, I aced it and I got it and it's actually a fucking brilliant job to be honest, I'm working for a top London celebrity chef and um, working as his web designer so well, I, I just don't even know how to explain it, I mean it's all just so exciting and pretty much exactly where I want to be, you know, for now anyway. Um, so a lot of people keep asking me what do they do, where do they begin, um, and this answer is quite simple. I mean, once you've decided that this is something you feel interested in, what you need to do is get in touch with the SGI, which is the Soko Gakkai International. It's the movement of people, um, and it's a movement of people. I don't like saying organization because organization makes it sound like some kind of organized religion, because it isn't. It's a bunch of people working together for the peace and the happiness of all of humanity. Um, I also, I mean, there's also lots of different things that you could do. I mean, the first, the first thing I would do is 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 read and and understand things first before you just go diving in. There's an amazing book called The Buddha in Daily Life by Richard Causton. The Buddha in Daily Life by Richard Causton. You can actually get it on Amazon.co.uk, possibly Amazon.com as well, and that explains a lot. Um, about the practice and what it's all about. But essentially you begin at the beginning, you put your hands together, you face a blank wall and you chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, 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 Nam Myoho You can do it slowly. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, 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 or fast. Nam your whole ringe, your 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 nam really fast if you wanted to. But the whole point is, is about intention. That when you chant, you are summoning up your Buddhahood, your nature, your Buddha nature, which is innate in all human beings. It's a part of you. It's a part of all of us. It's a quality that bubbles up from deep inside your your humanity and and it gives you great courage and strength even in the most terrible and awful moments in your life when you are suffering in a hell state now um, there is a lot to learn in Buddhism this is a lifelong practice and this is a lifelong study you you're not gonna just pick it up and and everything will just be fine you know life is a struggle and prayer is battle um, Daisaku Ikeda the man who who, who brought this this um this faith to the modern world you could say often says that when you sit in front of the gong um of the gahonzen or your blank wall before you get your gahonzen your gahonzen is um, I'll explain in a second but when you sit there and chant um you are you're engaging engaging in battle with with forces that are pushing up against you you know negativity with is with that's within yourself innately within you negativity and, and all the bad things that happen in your life are there for a very good reason they're there because they they push us they push us and they make us grow so um, you start off by chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo then you will go on to learn um, the Gongyo which are recitations of, of um, two sutras written um, um, by the Buddha and you have to say these two things these two sutras in the morning and at night um, the best thing to do is to go to the SGI website and, and look at it and maybe try and get yourself a prayer book um, and learn the gongyo and you can, this slow gongyo actually, you can learn and listen to I'll probably make a video about it at some point but it's, it's you know, it, you can do it slowly to start off with a little bit of the video is, uh, sorry, a little bit of the gongyo I shall give it a go and you can hear what it sounds like the two um, sutras and the first one goes like this 
Mio ho renge kyo ho ben pondai ni Niji se so ju san mai anjo ni ki go shari hoto shu bu chi e Jin jin murio go chi e mon nange nan yo i sai shou mon yakashi butu shu shou no Shou no shi shou i sha ga butu so zin gon yakasen ma no kamu shu shou butu jin jo shou butu murio do ho yom yo shou jin Mio shou fu mon jo jo jin jin mi zo u ho zui gi shou sato i shu nange shari hoto go ju jo butu that's quite slow. People tend to do it quite fast. Like shuju hiu koin gongam musho hoben indo shoujo rori shou taka shori shaga nyorai hoben chicken kari on the hari jacket. Okay, you take a shari on your right chicken kara jina muri o mugi riki musho i zenjo gera san ma jinya musai jojo isa miso u ho shari to show you nurai gonsu shuju from yasu yose shaho. Um, I still have to learn it. Uh, you know, as as good as I could. Um, I, I've learned some of it off by heart, but it's not easy. It's not meant to be easy. Um, it's actually ancient Chinese, probably not really spoken um, by many people anymore, and a lot of it isn't actually understood by a lot of Chinese now. But there are translations of the of the um, of the Gongyo that you can read um, and study. So you start off with your with. With your gongyo and your daimaku, which is the nami holding gikyo, nami holding gikyo, and then there's studying, which is understanding the teachings and, and listening and reading, and really deepening your faith in in, in what nami holding gikyo is all about. Because there is so much to learn, and as I said, it's a lifelong thing. It's not just, you know, enlightenment isn't about reaching a goal and then stopping. You know, achieving enlightenment or achieving this Buddha state is an ongoing battle. It's an ongoing thing because. As as a human, you you're in a you're in a flow in a river in a rat race or whatever. You're moving forward, um, you know, at a pace. So you have to keep up. And this, in a way, is like fuel in your engine. You could say it it, it pushes you forward and gets you over those rough patches. And I, I've have not had an easy time recently. You know, I've been battling with what they call what is called your fundamental darkness, struggling. With you know immense emotional turmoil, <laughs> life is difficult. Life is tough in living in a city. I've lived in London for ten years now, and you know it's not easy. I've got a great job now, but you know I'm single, and you know I'm almost thirty, and and one asks oneself, you know, what is happiness? What makes me happy? When will I be happy? Will I be happy when I get a, an amazing job? Well, not yet. Will I be happy when I meet a wonderful partner? Will I be happy? when I have lots of money? Will I be happy when I have the perfect body? Will I be happy when I mil win a million pounds? And I think what I've realized, especially, well, what I realized actually probably yesterday is that I will never be happy unless I learn to be happy with myself, to learn to love myself and learn to be truly content with myself. I don't think true happiness is found outside of us, it's within us. Because as if you've done any reading about Buddhism, about the ten worlds, happiness of hunger, suffering, hell, bodhisattva, all the different ten worlds, um, you know, happiness and, and that, that state of happiness is there, down there, it's inside you. Because one minute you could be unhappy about something, your partner, girlfriend or boyfriend can upset you, the next minute a phone call can come and say that you've won a million pounds and suddenly you're happy again. But the, the feeling of hurt and the unhappiness is still there hovering around inside you but the happiness is coming over ridden it. I don't know if that makes sense but what I'm saying is that all those feelings and all that joy and sadness and all these different things are there locked inside of you. They, they're they dormant with inside of you. So um, I think I think what people you know don't realize is that there is another way that there is a way to manifest these feelings and chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo brings it out. It brings out you know the happiness and brings out the joy and the bliss and I have felt great joy and great bliss chanting with other people and it and it's you know it's an incredible thing um, I remember reading a couple of days ago that this practice is a privilege not an obligation and you should never feel obliged to sit in front of your gohonzon or in front of your blank wall and do it and it should be a joyful experience because in a way you should realize that what you're doing is something quite profound you're putting your hands together like this and you are saying I'm taking my life in my own hands I'm fed up with everything going on around me and everything feeling like it's out of control You've, you're, you're, you're in control now you're driving have a great day and I'll talk to you soon <laughs>